These are the team. Hi, boys. We're the gays of Dinah. The gays of Dinah. Say hi. I'm straight. Hi, Bitch. Bitch. Hey, guys. It's your girl, Dinah Jane, and I'm going to take you guys on a VIP experience with me during my OSHA gala performance. It was a full day, so there's so much to watch. And it was actually really fun. So, hope you guys enjoy. Let's go. Before I begin, before I continue, I just want to say thank you to Audible for partnering with me on this video. If you haven't caught the last one, uh, they went with me on an OSHA tour around the school, so it's such a full circle moment right now with Audible, so thank you. If you're not familiar with Audible, it is the home of storytelling, so they have an audiobook for every genre. Me, my genre is poems. So, right now I am reading All the Longer Are Blooming, all Along You Were Blooming by Morgan Nichols. So, And if you want to try Audible for free for 30 days, here's the secret. Text Dinah to 500-500 or go to audible.com slash Dinah. Gotcha. In honor of Mental Health Awareness Month, I just want to remind you guys that Audible is a tool to de-stress and also a beautiful escape from everything that drives you nuts, drives you crazy, because I know I need somewhere to run out every time. And Audible is a perfect place for that. So I hope you guys are taking care of yourself this month and every month. Again, thank you, Audible. I grew up in Orange County, California. Um, there's a city called Santa Ana, Santa Ana. Probably like what, a few lights down from where I live, there's a school called OSHA. It's a performing arts school, very competitive school in the arts. So every year, OSHA throws a gala to fundraise scholarships for the school. I auditioned for it in my sophomore year, but it just so happened that someone wanted to audition for X Factor around the same time, and it just overlapped each other. So, so before I wasn't able to perform at the gala, but this is such a full circle moment now because now I was honored and able to get back to the students. The gala was at the Hyatt Regency in Huntington Beach. Oh, see, baby. It was super nice. It was really beautiful. It was, such, it was like a maze. Like, there were so many ways to find our room. They put me in the room, too. So even though I lived down the street, I was like, oh, that's nice. Oh, uh, okay, two dolphins. That's cute. Um, it was giving bougie, but I loved it because, yeah. So what is your pre-performance ritual? Or is there one? Sleep. <laughs> What's today, Saturday? Yeah. I started feeling sick Monday. I think mm. I was like, I was going through a lot like, this past week, so I feel like that emotional journey that happened to this past week, it kind of took a toll on my mental and whatnot. And you ever feel like emotionally drained and you're just like, ugh, bleh. I feel like that's what happened to me. And then also the change of weather, because I was in Utah for a family wedding. So in the middle of rehearsing, coming up to this gala, I was flying around back and forth before this gala, so here I am, dealing with the consequences. <laughs> I caught a stupid cold and it's still here. It's slowly going away though. I'm working really hard on getting rid of it, eliminating it. And that was probably the only thing that was holding me back from being great. Because we know a girl can sing and that's why I was so stressed out was just because of my cold. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is the time I gotta show up and blow out. There's like so many rich people in the room right now. And I could wow all of you. I know I can. I still did. I know I did. Period. Okay, speaking of The Little Mermaid, I feel like I'm getting mermaid vibes from this hair. Can you guys walk me through the inspiration? This is some mermaid hair that she's giving me. She gave me some inches. Um, you can explain because, you know, we know we're doing it, so. <laughs> that was the inspo. We just felt like since we had inches and we had this beautiful texture already that we just decided to play with it, give her that long, juicy, delicious, Flowy hair. It's giving, honey. Just be delicious. It's giving. Yeah, she's trying to tame my texture because she's a little wild. She's taming her down. We're in my room getting ready. You have Mary Kendall doing my hair and makeup. Homegirl killed it. She beat the face, did the hair. She gave me some mermaid waves. Um, and it's still in. It's actually still intact. I didn't take it out. <sighs> we love a girl who, who sustains the hair. <laughs> what else? Oh, I 
a writing camp coming up that I am involved in, a writing camp and a panel I'm involved in with many other islanders as well. So that'll be exciting. Hoping to get any, like, are you anticipating any songs for yourself on this camp potentially? I'm hoping. I mean, I'll be surrounded by a lot of great songwriters and producers, so I feel like it'll, it's gonna come. It'll just come naturally. I don't, I'm not forcing it. I don't wanna force it. Mm -mm. Like the vibe just happens and it, it was meant to be, so. Sometimes the best records come out that way. So here you have me practicing two songs, two numbers that I was performing that night. Maybe I'm Amazed and Last Dance. So I'm very familiar with the songs, but not really. Like I've always heard them on the radio or whatnot. I've heard my grandparents play them songs. So it's kind of cool to just run it back um, and get familiar with it again. The last, last dance, the person that I've always heard cover it was Selena. Selena Quintanilla, and so I had her rendition in my head, and I was just like, ah, nah, nah. I was like, oh wait, it's not that version because I'm singing with an orchestra. So I had to uh, not do too much, just do just enough. What was the part that I really liked? Um, oh, I need you by me, beside me, to guide me, to hold me, to scold me, cause when I'm bad, I'm so Oh my gosh, I want to cover the song all the time now, thanks to Osha. This girl wants to always karaoke it, always perform it. I just might include it in some of my later on performances. So yeah, it was so fun. I felt like a diva on stage. Nothing on, that's great. You look gorgeous. Thanks to so Mary. Rehearsal. Rehearsals. And she's ready to do some business, clearly. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we'll be leaving, yeah. <laughs> Are we always stay clean? Right. Oh, we're here. And Mr. Todd's wrapping the merch. <laughs> the fans are getting the shirt. Like, yeah, there's clothes. Like, yeah, he only wears that shirt for like, Dino? Yeah. It's so comfy. This is just when y'all see us. Right. Hey dolls. <laughs> Her room's already messy. Oh my god. Give it to the stylist. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So welcome to Orange County. <laughs> she is rehearsal ready. Mm -hmm. Not yet. Oh well, yeah, rehearsal. No. So, remember how I told you guys that this hotel is like really big, like massive, like, whoa. <laughs> we walked, we walked from my room and we just walked and then walked and then walked and then walked again, just trying to find it, just still making our way there, making my way downtown, just walking and walking. You know that SpongeBob thing where they're just like 365 days later? That was us. We finally got to our destination and we made it to rehearsals. So. Oh yeah, this is gorgeous. This is my high school. <laughs> Very proud. <laughs> you don't cut corners over here. No, not at all. I'm like so sunset. I say go big or go home. <laughs> For real. It's all right, Osha. I mean, even these balloons. I would expect. You to they said we were gonna raise some money tonight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> This is freaking gorgeous. Did you get some rest? 
What's happening, KOCSA family? How's this show been? Dynamite. Next up, Terry Shanks. What is your rider? Like my rider is yeah. like tea, honey, yep, all that. Uh, hot water, room temp water, no dairy, no cheese. No. That's yeah. tough. <laughs> That's and tough. then the, the air the air quality there has to be no AC. So Jamon that you see right here, he is the vocal coach for OSHA. And I stole him for a little bit and just like, hey, can you warm me up here and there? And he was amazing. He was really great. My name is Jamal McCoy. I'm the vocal director here at Orange County School of Arts. And she over here about to throw down. Um, I'm so excited to work with her. She's a boss. Y'all already <laughs> know this. Um, and I'm just here to make her more of a boss. Y'all already know this. So. Here we are, let's make it happen. Yeah. So, <laughs> you over here. <laughs> well, it's also because yeah. I have a cold too, so that's the only thing that's defeating mm -hmm. this, because mm -hmm. I wish I could blow out the stage tonight. Are oh, you still gonna show up? I'm gonna do my best. You already know. Yeah. I'll try. You ain't, you ain't gonna take no prisoners. <laughs> we, we, tonight, we, we, we gonna go. Yes. Can you have her in ears again? In ears? Oh, yeah. Right now, over there? warming me up he's getting me right getting my vocal cords right we're just messing around just doing these cute warm-ups like hey you over there no, 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 no. and it was really cool I for someone like him he gave me a lot of insight of my voice that I didn't that I hear sometimes but I haven't heard in a while so he told me how much body I have in my voice and how much color I have so to use it utilize that and um, I was like, oh, I like you. I might use you in the future. So, yeah. Symphony Orchestra and Montage Band. And a round of applause for all of our live auction winners. Things on either side of the stage for a video from our friend Dinah J. Born and raised here in Santa Ana, California. I'm Polynesian, and my culture has definitely played a huge influence in my life, but also in my music. Music has been my escape where I just can express myself and feel known. Hey, y'all, CSA, welcome to former OSHA student and celebrity vocalist, Miss Dinah Jane. I got you.
Well, the way this business goes, anytime it's performance day and whatnot, it's such a hurry, hurry, wait, hurry, hurry, wait, hurry, hurry, eh. And that's what it was backstage. So even though I was sitting back there for 20 minutes, I felt like I was sitting there for so long. A matter of minutes? $10,000, that's correct. $100 at a time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'll start off over here. Boom. And our wonderful guest artist, Dinah J. Kevin, take us through this look. So she's wearing this gown from The Rocks, this pink boa that's vintage, these Hibachi crystal gloves, Ooh. Mm -hmm. gorge, and this vintage belt as well. It's so beautiful. Wow. And then this Steve Madden. Thanks, Ooh. Steve Madden. Thanks, Steve Madden. <laughs> I'm blast them, but like, y'all didn't want to feed the girls. Like, that's something they forgot to do was feed us backstage, and I think that's where everything went mayhem for all of us. I of Luckily, we hijacked a plate of shrimp. They were outside giving hors d'oeuvres to everybody, and we're like, oh, come here. And he came into the room, and he's just like, we're like, can you bring more of this while we wait? Because the girls are hungry. And he was just like, yeah, go ahead. We literally, I wish we caught this footage, this part. Oh, I love it because it felt so real, like so us. He had like a plate of like probably 30 shrimps, 30 tempura shrimps. The next plate was like empty and we just swapped it with him. He's like, I just have to go back out there with a plate at least. I'm like, okay, then take the empty one. And that's what we did. <laughs> we were so hungry. We, were so <laughs> we had a lot of time to kill before the first performance. So Kevin came up with the idea and he's like, hey, let's do a photo shoot. So that's what we did. He is setting up his props, setting up um, his lights, and it felt like a real photo shoot. I had a lot of time in my hands to get it right. It was so fun though, so. Dance is that you dance with me, dance with me, dance with me, oh. Well, <laughs> I feel so elegant in this black fit. Like, I feel like, very, what's the word? Rich. Sophisticated, very rich. And I was like, oh, it was, I think it was the gloves that was playing with me. So where are we walking right now? We're walking in, they're about to seat us. And we're sitting with the seat. Oh, oh. So. oh man. Cha -cha. You're with two CEOs tonight. <laughs> you have a big thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, oh, you had to go sit with the CEO of OSHA ran over there to sat there for like a good 15 20 minutes and then ran backstage to go finish glamming up because the girls was flying out of my hair um how to get it
because the outfit change section, they only gave me 15 minutes to change my hair or change my outfit. And that is not enough time for a thick girl like me because the way I gotta bust my ass, you know, through them dresses, it takes a minute. We could bleep that out, right? Ready? Okay, we gotta walk. Walking? Walking. Okay. And she's so ready. Let's just say my second outfit. It's so beautiful. I love it. The green I'm wearing. It was a little bit more chaotic than the first one, so I had to tape the girls. The girls, that's what took a while, it was a little struggle, but it took a while and that's the part that we were struggling with the most backstage. But she turned out looking gorgeous and flawless in her green sequence, tropical giving fit. <laughs> I'm on such a high. I got it out of the way. I felt very confident in my performance as well. I felt like I did a solid, I want to say solid nine, eight. I could have been better if just this, just wanted to get my way. But other than that, I felt very confident with my performance, very pleased with it. And now I'm just like, it's time to party. So I got my gays and my girls with me, ready to just have a lit night with each other's company. 
I mean, I feel like when you're always working with each other in the space of work, we get caught up in that. So it was really cool to see us in a different environment other than work. So on that note, thank you guys so much for following me on my OSHA Gala journey experience. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves with these mini clips and me just being in my own element. Um, there's so much more to look forward to, so definitely stay tuned. Your girl is about to get busy.